Well, many thanks for joining us in Plus News Brief. I am Justin Akadoni. A bill to empower the Nigerian Customs Service to carry out electronic transactions has killed second reading on the floor of the Senate. These follow the presentation of the lead debate on the general principles of the bill by the sponsor, Senator Francis Ali McKenna from Edo State during plenary. Ali McKenna, who is chairman, Senate Committee on Customs, Excise and Tariffs, said that the bill was read for the first time on January 29 last year. He said that the proposed bill sought to bring the Customs and Excise Management Act in line with the modern day reality. The bill was referred to the Senate Committee on Customs, Excise and Tariff for further legislative action. The are to report back in four weeks. Now, how can Exploration and Production Limited has slumped a 10 billion naira on the Senate for daring to entertain a petition on the disputed Atala Marginal Oil Field OML 46? The dispute is between Hardy Oil Nigeria Limited and HEPL. The Senate Committee on Ethics, Privilege and Public Petitions has therefore threatened to issue an arrest warrant to compel the management of the HEPL to appear before it, based on a petition against it authored by Hardy Oil Nigeria Limited. Now, Hardy Oil had in a petition filed against the HEPL to the Senate alleged that the Atala National Field, heated to own by it, was fraudulently sold to the HEPL by the scrapped Department of Petroleum Resources. On the strength of the petition, the Senate mandated its Committee on Ethics, Privileges and Public Petitions to investigate the matter. The two oil firms at the beginning of the investigative hearing by the Committee on, in October appeared through their representatives. However, HEPL, after evading two subsequent summons after its maiden appearance before the panel, surprisingly slammed the committee with a 10 billion naira lawsuit, a seeking discontinuation of further deliberation on the matter. The Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Gatswell Akbabu, has assured the region that the board of the NDDC will be constituted at the appropriate time upon the recommendation of President Mohamed Buhari. Akbabi, who stated that he is in Abuja on Tuesday in a statement, said President Buhari was determined to reposition the NDDC after 19 years of rot. The minister, however, said he never advised protesting youth and women of the region on the constitution of the board of the NDDC to channel their grievances to President Buhari, as reported by some online media platforms. He also said it is not in the interest of the region to stampede the government into aborting the reform process. Now, back here in Lagos, the government has vowed to prosecute anyone flouting COVID-19 guidelines and travel protocols released by the Presidential Steering Committee. Governor Babajide Somolu said the government has partnered with the PSC to punish whosoever refused to undergo mandatory tests. The governor explained that all foreigners would, who flout the rules would be subjected to possible deportation. Now, the current guidelines on travel protocols released by the PSC on COVID-19, which must be followed by all passengers arriving in Nigeria, include a COVID-19 PCR test to be done within 48 hours before departure, post-arrival day two COVID-19 PCR tests, all partially and on vaccinated individuals to self-isolate for seven days following arrival into the country, and a day seven release PCR test. And all outbound passengers are to demonstrate evidence of full vaccination against COVID-19 and negative PCR tests result within 48 hours from the time to boarding a flight out of Nigeria. Meantime, the State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, says that three students of Doan College in the Leki area of the state are currently in police custody. They were arrested for allegedly assaulting 12-year-old Sylvester Oromani. Udomosu also said two other students of the school named in the assault are now at large. He added that those in the custody are helping the command with information on how to track others. He said that the school principal, housemasters and other officials of the school are also assisting the police with the information. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.